Just letting you guys know you can check out my No Bleeps podcast wherever you stream podcasts or on my No Bleeps YouTube channel. Link in the description. Hey guys, it's Billy and welcome back to Spill Sesh. Today we're doing a weekly teacup and we are talking about Mr. Beast coming up with this crazy new idea that kind of has people a little scared. Alyssa Violet calling out Chantel Jeffries allegedly and Addison Rae getting in some trouble and getting banned on TikTok. We got to talk about what went down. Let's get into it. So first, let's start off with Mr. Beast. This story kind of requires anybody to kind of know about the new Netflix show called Squid Games. This show gives me Black Mirror vibes. It's a little scary and very dark things happen in this show where everybody kind of owes money and they're willing to do whatever it takes, even risk their life to potentially be debt free. I mean, it's a lot more complicated than that. And people, you know, it's Hunger Games style almost, you could say. It's definitely freaky and that was a really bad way of explaining it, but people get hurt on the show during the games that they play if they lose. And um. Mr. Beast said on TikTok, if this TikTok gets 10 million likes, I'll recreate Squid Games in real life. And people are like, what the heck? Because I mean, one of the main things about the show and one of the main reasons why I didn't really want to watch it is because I literally can't do gore or anything like that. And this was heavily like that. And obviously Mr. Beast can't do anything like that. That would be literally illegal. So I think he's going to try to do a video recreating the games somehow, some way, because a lot of them, there's some danger involved in them, like the glass one. And the last one too, I mean, it's definitely a stressful situation. Some of these are going to be a little difficult to recreate. So people have a lot of questions for him and are very curious to see what is actually going to happen because he did indeed get 10 million likes on this TikTok. The last I saw it was at like 15, which is insane. He said, we hit our goal of 10 million likes. Follow me. I'm grabbing random TikTok followers to compete in my squid game. So he said, he literally would be flying people out in the comments. He did say, I will actually fly you out. So he is super serious. I'm sure he's definitely going to be putting a lot of money into this because he wants to recreate the sets from the show, which is really cool, but they seem really strategic. He also announced how people will get the opportunity to apply to be in his squid games. And one of the ways is he just dropped new merchandise and you can basically pay to have a chance to be in it. He said a hundred random people that buy will be invited to compete in my squid games for $456,000. And on the website, it says buy a limited edition tea or hoodie in the next 48 hours for a chance to win an invitation to the first annual Mr. Beast game. Buy the Mr. Beast game merch for a chance to win an invitation. It's only available for 48 hours. He also said that it's going to cost a few million dollars to make this video, which doesn't shock me, but wow. I mean, like, what do you guys think about this? That's something that's random that's going on in the YouTube community, TikTok world. The next thing is Alyssa Violet, someone we haven't talked about in quite some time because Alyssa's sort of stayed out of trauma ever since not being in Team um. 10, not really being in the um. clout house. I mean, once her and Banks broke up, it kind of just led her to be on her own for a bit and not really be super involved in any drama, which was definitely the best thing for her. Except now there's drama because Alyssa was very close friends with Chantel Jeffries. The two of them were practically inseparable. They were always hanging out. It's kind of funny because Chantel Jeffries is also very close with um. Catherine McBroom. So Chantel is going every which way with YouTuber best friends. And people are wondering if Alyssa actually shaded Chantel recently because in a TikTok, she said, when you hear their version of why you aren't friends anymore and the music in the background is like, oh, this the remix. So people were speculating what the heck went on between her and Chantel. And a lot of people in the comments were saying that Chantel probably hooked up with Bates. And some people were saying it as a fact. I'm really not sure if that's what went down. There was a lot of different speculation with them living together, rent, all of this stuff that it honestly could be anything, but someone did say Chantel hooked up with her ex, Banks or Jake, and they said Banks, which would be super effed up. I mean, come on, imagine your best friend hooking up with your ex. It sounds just like what happened between her and Tessa Brooks with Jake Paul all over again, but just way more messy because if that were true, that would just be super, super bad. Some people feel like Alyssa may have confirmed this particular rumor because on Twitter, she tweeted out, Los Angeles is too Jewish. 
which I can't really say what that word is, but mm, I'm sure you guys could figure it out. So yeah, that seemed to maybe confirm that this rumor might be true because if everybody in LA that everybody just knows is getting together, then yikes, it's a big possibility that that's what she's throwing shade at. So that's what's going on with Alyssa Violet. Let's get into Addison Rae, you guys. When I saw this, I was like, what the heck? How could this even happen? Because Addison is like the biggest TikTok star. I mean, obviously she's not the biggest, but she's one of the biggest people to come from TikTok. And so to see that she was banned from the app literally was insane to me. Like what, how could they do that? I mean, you would think that once you like reach like almost like a hundred million followers, they would put some sort of like protection over your account. I mean, I didn't think that anything that she was posting was particularly bad in any way. I mean, most of it is just her lip syncing to random movie clips or dancing, which I know that some random dance videos do get flagged for being inappropriate or what people are wearing, if they're wearing a bathing suit and things like that. So that could have been a reason why she was flagged, but it seems like she broke one too many rules and TikTok was like, nope, we're banning your account. I will say she did get the account back. So this all led to people being upset, thinking that she was a liar. And also people were totally ripping on TikTok. They were like, what the heck? How could you let your software ban one of your biggest users on the app? So. She tweeted out right when this all went down saying, well, time to get a job. And it said your account was permanently banned due to multiple violations of our community guidelines. And it said that, you know, you should get download her data and whatnot. I mean, it said permanently, that's pretty scary. And I'm sure for a second, she was probably like, what the heck? But Addison has so many connections. Obviously she was going to get it back. And with her being such a big creator, they were definitely going to work hard to make sure that she got back on the app. So I had a feeling it wasn't going to be too permanent, even though they said it. There's also a ton of glitches that happened on TikTok. So this could have just been a major glitch. I'm not exactly too sure, but people definitely took the opportunity to roast Addison. Lorray tweeted at her saying, I've been needing an assistant. And there were so many people, you guys, that were like, Addison, make an OnlyFans. You gotta make an OnlyFans. Come on, please. Like, oh my gosh, wow. Like the demand for this is through the roof. I I didn't know that that many people wanted an Addison Rae OnlyFans, but it sounds like she could be making so much money if she had one. And for the people that were roasting TikTok for this decision, there were so many people that said things like, TikTok really said, we don't want to succeed as a company. Let's ban one of our biggest creators. Someone else said, TikTok are losing creators and it is their own fault. Who banned everyone for no dang reason? Why would they ban the person who made the app a thing? Which is true, like, how did this even happen? Like I said, I thought that certain people had protection if they had a certain amount of followers. TikTok like knew who they were, but it seems like nobody is safe from this accidental or, you know, whatever she did to get it back, banning of her account. But truly, even if Addison did get banned permanently from TikTok, I think she would be fine. She's hardly even on TikTok anymore ever since her career blew up. She was in that Netflix movie. She's getting all these job opportunities. She signed that deal with Netflix where she's going to be in multiple different movies within the Netflix you know, circle. So she is set. I mean, people know who she is, even though she's an influencer, an internet celebrity, people are looking at her like she is a actual celebrity. People know who she is. My mom knows who she is. That means she's famous. <laughs> she's not like an A-list celebrity, okay? But she's definitely a celebrity of sorts. She was at the freaking Met Gala. And I know a ton of people don't like her, but it is true that if Addison didn't have TikTok anymore, she would honestly be fine in her career. She's just getting a ton of opportunities. And she has plenty of Instagram followers that she does doesn't need TikTok. She could literally just do ads on Instagram and that would be like still super amazing for her. Anyways, I definitely want to know what you guys think about all of this, this little scare that Addison had. 
And how do you guys feel about the fact that she was able to get her account back? I mean, there's obviously a ton of other people that were accidentally banned or they've had issues with TikTok and they completely had to restart accounts from scratch because they just don't have those kinds of connections with TikTok or anybody like higher up that has power. So this is definitely crazy, a very unexpected. TikTok got some hate from it. People thought that Addison was just trolling or lying because her account did get quickly restored. So I definitely want to know all your thoughts and let me know what you guys think about everything else we talked about today in the comments down below. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.